Today's demonstration is on the SMC ISA3 Digital Air Gap Checker. Here's our mini panel. We have 15 PSI supply pressure and a 1.5 millimeter nozzle. The customer has a 0.05 millimeter thick workpiece, but the problem is gripping it underwater and verifying that you have the part. Typical Hall effect or reed switches are not repeatable underwater. And the second thing, it's hard to differentiate whether you have a part or not with a standard Hall effect switch. We're gonna use back pressure. The customer will machine a nozzle into their fingers of the gripper. What I'm showing here is a customer's workpiece, showing an RJ shock absorber from SMC. This only exerts about one to one and a half pounds of force when half compressed. We have the one and a half millimeter nozzle. I'm moving the workpiece over the nozzle. And as you can see, just moving the workpiece over the nozzle does not change the output of the gap checker. When I exert one to two pounds of force, I am not compressing the shock absorber, but I am just holding it in place over the nozzle and you can see the output turns on. This concludes the video, but please, this video only serves to assist the customer in their decision process. It is not conclusive due to the application or equipment specifications unknown at this time. Thank you.